the fight I fight Standing by my side when I got nothing left inside You deserve this life, I told you every single time I've been slipping right, I need your hand to help me climb If your heart is beating dry Would you hold the way if I'm on the other line? Oh, would you hold the way? Would you go beyond the pond if we're soulmates? Would you hold the way? Light when you close your eyes, lay it with a lonely mind Sunlight when it's you and I, say you'll love me all the time I've tried for the longest time, then maybe there's another rhyme But all the time means all the time Yeah, yeah Going back with me I'm hoping I can be heard. I might be a bit too loud. Bit too loud, bit too loud, bit too good. I can see when I load, imagine I accidentally deleted. I would have skipped through everything. Yee, Coffee Talk Episode 2 is available now. Thank you. What is endless? Does that mean I make endless coffee? Freya, how you doing, Freya? You're badass looking. Okay, thank you. You want to order anything else, Freya? She already got it, damn. What's today, Sunday? Good for now. I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay, then. I'll leave you whatever that is, Freya. Uh, oh, man. Oh, somebody walked in. Aqua, is that you? Yes, it is. Aqua. Ah, Aqua, I like you. Hi, Freya. Hi, Alec. Good evening, Miss Aqua. How are you two doing? Same old. Good. How about you? Fine. Thank you. And you? Oops. I asked that already. <laughs> Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. Don't worry. By the way, you missed a whole entire different conversation. The previous gameplay, and it made me laugh. <laughs> it's Myrtle here. So far, it's only me and Alec. We, we have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting her tonight? Oh, it's not that. I was wondering where she's coming here again tonight. You have her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you just tell her to come meet you right here? That always works for me when I want to talk to someone. Uh, that wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. So I'm going to follow up on the questions your team sent today. Pull up directly, I mean. Aw, Aqua, you're such an anxiety. Anyway, I should order something. I wonder what she is. She's like a mix. She has a freaking octopus. She has those fins. What is she? Take time, Miss Aqua. It's all right. I'll order now. I'll have a cup of tea with lemon and some, please. Tea, lemon. Oh, what the hell? My hair scared the hell out of me. I thought that was a fucking spider web or something. It was my freaking hair. Tea and cinnamon. Brew. Russian tea. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it looks so perfect, and I'm not mistaken. It's called Russian tea, right? Oh, you knew? I heard about it once, she says. Once. Pretty sure the only part that's Russian is the name. What are the words? Yeah, I don't think that's Russian, technically. It's just the name. You're right. Oh, that's highly specific from fact, you know. I guess I spent too much time browsing the internet. Same. Same. Wouldn't do you rhyme, Miss Freya? Especially Twitter. Twitter has that not safe for work content that I'd be looking for. I've been arriving here since. Damn, she's slurping on that. Like, she's fucking slurping the hell out of that. I've been here since you left last night. She actually stayed the night, you know. <laughs> boop 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 boop. <laughs> I 
finish drinking first, Aqua. I'm sorry, I said you haven't left? I was just joking. Oh, that would be crazy. I was going to say, damn, she stayed here without me knowing? I'm pretty sure she said she left yesterday. Oh, no. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. It's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, Alec. Please make sure you get it. Hey, I open this coffee shop at late at night. I make sure I sleep through the day. It's great for an insomniac, insomniac like me. So, will Miss Aqua, thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua, yes, where do you come from? Because, judging from your accent, you're not from the States, right? I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Well, so you're full-fledged oceanic? Born and raised in the sea? Why do you move here? Chasing the American dream, I guess, oh god. <laughs> this game gets real deep, by the way. It gets sad in some points and then gets real deep and you're like, oh god, what? You move with your family? Just know I'm the only one who can move here. Oh, may I know why? It's not easy for our people, especially the females, to get higher education. I got scholarships in the- God damn, this is so depressing. This is so depressing already. I wasn't sure about moving, you know, but my parents pushed me to it. Did they now? I guess because they wanted her to have an opportunity. How long have you been here? Almost two years now. Did your parents visit often? They can't. <sighs> Why is this so real? God, this game's in mature, mature stuff, but oh my god. This game's gonna make me cry. It's gonna, it's getting real deep into my roots. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, we're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Do you have siblings? Of course, we are sea people. I get it. Cause you know, they're technically, you know, oceanic. A lot of ocean creatures give birth to stuff a lot. Whoa, that's a lot. By the way, there's fucking Nekos in here. There's cat people in here. I, I forgot what the actual term for them is, but yeah, there's freaking cat people in here. There's orcs, there's elves, there's succubus, there's vampires, there's werewolves. You really have that many relatives? <laughs> of course not. I was just exaggerating. But you count my grandpa's kids and grandkids? There are a hundred of us. Holy cow. How about you, Freya? Do you have any siblings? I have. Not as many as you assume. And I'm a single child over here. Right, Alec? That's our name. The little brother, four years younger. He also lives in Seattle? No, he's living in San Francisco, near our parents' house. Because she's decided to live far away from her parents' house. He's the good kid, and I'm the... I knew it. <laughs> she was the rebel. Working some high-end tech job while taking care of my dad on the weekend. So he's the golden child. You know, every family has that golden child. That the parents love has no done no mistake. Perfect. That's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. It's probably somebody who's trying to get that piece of inheritance. Like my family with my grandparents. Yeet. Should visit my parents if they're finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. I know. Anyway, I want to order something. Another espresso. You know the usual. Coffee, coffee, coffee! Brew! By the way, this scenes are. Oh, do I? I can't press the phone right now. Espresso for you, Freya! Your espresso's ready. Ow, my knee hurts. Oh, shoot, did I unplug? I unplugged, so if I go run to the battery once it tells me hello. Bitter, just the way I love it. Hi, who came in? Oh, hi. Good evening, sir. Good evening. He's a cat person. He's a cat person, I think. Are you are you Rachel's dad? How can I help you, sir? Ah, uh, yes. Mm, I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps. Mm. Are you a cat person? I seem like on menu to make you a custom drink if you like. Actually, 
Are you familiar with STMG? Yes, I made that for what's her name? What a bit. So you can tell me the ingredients. I can sure I can look for. Oh, lucky me. Susu Teller Madu. Isn't that what I made for you? Oh no, I made STU Indonesia. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Understood. Have the eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf, but I'll add one to mix the rest of the ingredients. I love that. One cup of STMG, please. So, coffee, ginger, milk. Coffee. Dude, what is that? Mint. Ooh, I love minty stuff. Ginger and milk. And then he's going to add, I'm guessing I'm going to add afterwards. I brew it. He's going to add the eggs himself, not me. Right? You're going to add the leg, the eggs yourself. I really hope he adds the leg. I'm scared he didn't add the eggs because I can't add it. By the way, there's no eggs right there. Here's your order, sir. Let's see. Please. Hmm. Why didn't it wouldn't let me put eggs on it? Oh no, I'm sorry. It would you saw it wouldn't let me put eggs on it. Wait, did I do it wrong? Oh no, did I do it wrong? I want to restart. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. I've been restarting. I don't wanna. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna restart. I don't care. I'm cheating my way through this game. I'm not gonna fuck up because I'm an idiot and press the wrong thing. <laughs> Hi, Freya. I just talked with you in Aqua. Uh, Aquas. <laughs> Did I read it wrong? Tea with lemon and cinnamon. Tea, lemon, cinnamon. I know I'm cheating. I don't care. I freaking need this. I have done. Perf I have been doing this. Sir, Russian tea. Aqua slurping the hell out of that Russian tea. I could have sworn I did it right, but I'm not sure. Milk, ginger, honey. Oh, you just want espresso. Honey. I know you already. I know I'm cheating. Let me be. Let me be. Come on. Okay, so let me read this. It's a nation, it means milk. Wait, what 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 do you mean? Um it means milk, egg, honey. So I need milk, honey, and ginger. Right? Milk, ginger, honey, basically. Milk ginger Honey, please, for the love of God, work. If not, I'm going to fucking do this until I get it right. I swear. It got it. Ew, is the egg on top? Yo, what is this? I'm about to search this up. It's in, All of these are actual drinks because I know some of them. But is that an actual thing? Whoa, it's actually a thing. The egg goes on top of the... Huh. That's interesting. What's your... Here's your STMG. Oh, that smell it brings back so many... Ha! I didn't fuck it up this time. I think I put coffee last time, didn't I? I think I read coffee. I'm not dyslexic, I swear. I've traveled to so many places and none of them can get it right. You're the first one to manage it. Huh. Yeah, the first one to manage it after the second try. Because I read your thing wrong. Excuse me, may I ask you girls something? Sure, ask away. What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? Excuse me? Aren't you college students? Um, no, we're not. I see. Ah, he moved closer out of nowhere. He actually scared the living hell out of me. Asshole, you are. Hey, hey, man. 
You're being a little creep, you are. Even Aqua's freaked out by you and Freya. That's saying something. You're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna be creepy, all. Oh. Hey, Alec. I just... Who is this pervy old man? Don't ask me. You think I know, Freya? I'm sorry, I hit my mic. One, two, I have no idea. It's the first time here. I want to be able to understand young people. Thank God you're <laughs> Officer Georgie. I call him, by the way, if anybody can help me pronounce his name, I'll be glad for George, Georgie, jo Georgie, why are you fucking am? Because I started calling you George, Georgie. What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. He's not trying to flirt with y'all. He's just wanting to know. Where? You mean him? Yes, but not so loud. The man here is Rachel's dad, Freya. He asked me to meet me. So I told him to come here. I knew it, you were Rachel's dad. I just knew it. You were Rachel's dad. So I told him to come here. Oh. I didn't know that Rachel's dad was a pervy old man. He's not a pervy old man. All he asked was for your age, Freya, and how young people are. Even though Aqua over here is clearly concerned right now. No wonder she ran away from home. Freya! Everyone please meet Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. Mr. Furlong. Furlong? Please meet Freya and Alec. So he is a cat person. Good to know. Please call me Henry. I apologize further. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Henry Furlong? Yes. And you're Rachel Florenza's father? Yes. Furlong? Florenza? What do you have different last names? What are you trying to pull? Florenza was my late wife's maiden name. Freya! I was about to say that, Freya. That was probably the wife's name. Not everybody takes their significant other's last names. Like, I'm not going to take my husband's last name. I'm going to add it on to my name, but that's all. He's going to be, his name is going to be put in my, next to my name, but make sure to keep my name. My last name mean. I'm sorry. Rachel, choose it. For her station. Stationing. Freya. Okay, I think I better work on my novel. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. Eh, Freya, I'll come with you. Aqua's <laughs> like, I'd rather not get... Hey, what's it you want to talk to me about? It's about Rachel. The night when you drove her home. Was she hanging around oh, with shady people? Well, I think one of them was a bit shady. Hey, I heard that. What? I'm not a criminal. Just kidding. She was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and Alec here. She was in any danger. Are you sure? What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything alright? It's just that I feel that she's getting more and more distant. I don't know how to talk with her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what her kid, kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we ended up fighting. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned, give them time and space. It'll be there when they need you. As long as you don't beat your child, you're okay in my books. You spank your child, it's wrong. Corporal punishment is a bad thing. We can just bribe them. That's so true. One time I fight with my eldest daughter. Talked to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rockless and bought her a fair pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. Then I just waited for her to take the bait, just like a stakeout. Damn, he, he's like, damn. Next thing you know, she's going to hangle a donut by his face. <laughs> I just took bite of delicious pepperoni. I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. The pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. What if what is she loves doing is the problem? Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young, but the entertainment industry is in a kind place. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. And I don't trust her new manager. Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed or forced to do drugs? Did something happen? Well, nothing's happened yet. I just feel in my gut. It's possible that you're just being paranoid. Same, man. Same. I don't know, maybe. Psst. 
Alec, I need to go now. Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. I don't like the squishy aqua does. I really do hate it. One of my favorite characters is Hyde. Though. Well, can't you just find another manager? Rich is already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit, but every time I brought it up, we just end up fighting. As a parent, there's nothing much we can do other than guiding them being there where they needed us. Yes, that is so true. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust them to make their own. Hey, Georgia, you're married or something? Your wife must be a pretty happy woman. With everything we've taught them, hopefully they'll make the right choices. What if she made the wrong choices? I can do a background check on that manager. If that would ease your mind, please do. He's got a flip phone. Okay, give me a name. It's Morris. Last name, Lesser. Morris. <laughs> the fucking name. The fucking name. If... Morris Lester. Morris Lester. You get where I'm going? Morris Lester. Mo Lester. Mo Lester. <laughs> oh, I swear if he's not. Isn't he the guy in today's. Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. Oh, and I gotta take this. I've just got a call. I've gotta go. I will talk more about this with you. God, I really hope he's a bad guy at the same time. Because that name. You remember we had a... Who was that freaking substitute teacher that kept getting compared to Lester from GTA 5? I'm pretty sure there was a substitute teacher that got compared to that, Lester. And, and I think he quit because the kids kept calling him that. And he didn't want to be compared to a molester. You know, since technically in GTA 5, he, you know, Lester was that. I could have swore that's what I heard, Trinity. Hoodie. I don't know if you ever had him. Wait, yeah, my content. Yeah, I still have memory from high school, surprisingly. I've lost all memory from elementary and middle school, but high school is still fresh in my brain. Hendry, it's gonna be fine, Hendry. Ha Hendry. Yeah, I don't remember what the fuck his name was either. I just remember, I just remember being told that he hated that the kids would compare him to Lester, and all the time he would get compared, and he got mad one time, cause they were kept comparing him. Yeah, it, I got him for one of my classes. And the that poor sub, <laughs> a sub or whatever he was, he kept, they, the freaking people would pull out the fucking photo right next to him. He's like, I don't want to be compared to a molester. Managed a girl band. I've seen bad things happen. That bad? Yeah. It's against her joining that pop group at all. But my wife, Rachel's mom, she convinced me to give it a chance. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk to Rachel for her wanting to do more at home. By the way, these cat people, Hoodie can turn into freaking cats, actually. I don't know what to do. I don't even buy her own stuff. Modeling and solo singing career. It's a whole different world than the band. I'm familiar with the side of the biz, but things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. She survived being an adult, even managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself, don't you think so? She's not ready. I want her to get hurt. There are a lot of bad people out there. People that want to take advantage of her. You are her father. Yeah, the fa as much as I hate to hate, as a parent, you're going to be more worried about your kid more than anything. But you shouldn't hinder from her achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. So really what's best though, 
think she's born to soar. But, but she's just a girl. Yeah, and you are her father. And you are seeing your little girl grow up. It's ev That's every dad. Every dad, when it comes to their daughter, they're going to have a sweet... Their daughter is going to have that spot in their heart for them. Just like the mom's always going to have that spot for their kid, for the son. I don't know why it's like that. Why is this the mom always have the sorry spot for the boy and the dad always has to think for the girl? Like, the dad is always going to be overprotected over the girl. While the mom is going to be more lenient with the girl because she knows what the mom, what the girl's dealing with. Just like the mom's going to be more protected over her son while the dad is going to be more lenient with the son. Because the dad probably did half the things that the son did. You know. But she's just a girl. My little girl. She's not a little girl anymore. She's 18. My dude. Let her go. Seriously? That's your argument? It doesn't sound that way. doesn't matter whether she's a boy or a girl. You drive her away if you keep acting. Yes. You keep acting like a parent helicopter, she is definitely going to be away. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dream. Which, by the way, you want to hear something my mom told me today? Hoodie? This one's a stubborn young girl, too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. I love to hear it. Okay, if I stay a bit longer, I'll like, take all the time you need. Galahad, that's the one I've already done. That's for um Mr. Gala. Ooh, does that mean we can get to see Gala again? Monday. Basically, my mom. Mom, I've been coming home late from work because, you know, work has been busy and I gotta get everything done and then I can head home. And then I've been taking someone from work to the house, to their house because their car's not working. So I do that and then I get home like at 8 or 9 o'clock sometimes. When I'm supposed, and I'm like, that's the normal time I get up. But she's like, you've been getting late than you show. Are you with somebody that I don't know about? I'm like, you wish I was. I do that to my mom. I tell her I wish. You wish I was with somebody. You wish. Because all the time she tells me, why are you on your phone? You texting your boyfriend. Do you wish I had a boyfriend? That's what I tell her. You wish. Because she do. <laughs> She'd be wishing I do. I show her she manifesting this stuff. Military personnel stationed along East Coast. To prevent immigrants flooding in from Atlantic. Oh, that's fucking sad. Does that mean that freaking... Oh, that's fucking sad. That fucking sucks. I tell you, this game deals with heart issues. Where was repress, recipro, recipro, representatives pushed that the Ministry of Morrisons was still live? Doctors from Salish Town arrested for experiment with child cloning. Damn, that's what something's happening here. Everybody can clone themselves now. Well, no, you can clone your pet, which is weird. I don't know how to feel about cloning your pet. I wouldn't do that ever. I wouldn't clone my pet at all. That is just a no-no for me. A straight up fucking no for me. Would you clone your pet? You give me one second, I'm looking at something on my phone. Okay. I wouldn't clone my pet either. We should that be okay? Yes. I mean, it's really hard to pull off, but something that'll make the story different. Different isn't always good. It's a neat concept. 
but you need to handle it carefully. And gracefully. I know. Oh, who's here? Gala! How you doing, Gala? This is Werewolf Man, hoodie. He's a werewolf. And his best friend is a vampire, Mr. Hyde. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Am I interrupting? It looked like you were having an intense discussion. It's nothing. I look at just giving me feedback. For the book I'm writing. Sounds like a heavy discussion. What are you up to tonight? I'm just planning to sit and relax. Please don't let my presence interrupt you. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, no, I need to interrupt Alec for a moment. Sure, how can I help you? Can I have a cup of... Mm, you remember my remedy? Of course. Do you want to give it a try again? My last order might have been the right drink. Let's give it a try again, just to be sure. Okay. Remember, it has tea and ginger. Yes, I remember. Tea, ginger, and milk. Tea, ginger, milky. What is that? What is that smirk face? What is that smirk face? Huh? What is that smirk face, ma'am? Is this it? No, this is not quite. Wait, no, did I fuck it up? Oh, shoot. It was latte art. I'm so sorry. I'm about to do the thing. At least it wasn't far in the game. <laughs> One of these times to the werewolf guy. Uh, oh, you should have been here in the last conversation we had with this dude. There was BDSM involved. There was some BDSM involved. We were talking about some not safe for work topics on here. Maybe we'll talk about it again when Hyde comes back. But I wonder if he's going to mention anything about that stuff again. I can't believe I fucked that up. Okay, so it's just to be sure. Tea, milk, ginger. But I forgot. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I don't I don't know where I fucked up. Did I fuck up last time? Where the hell did I fucked up last time? I forgot. Okay, so last time they were talking about... So basically, his best friend was talking about how somebody told him that in order to to calm down their fury, sex helped. This looks like it. Indeed, I have the same feeling. I made a note of that mixture. Perfect. Anyway, please don't mind me and continue the discussion. Don't worry, Mr. Gallagher. We're done for the night. You're done. Flat on new homework, thanks to you. You're welcome. Is Hyde coming? No, I'm by myself tonight. Be a peaceful night then. That's mean, Freya. Come on, I'm just joking. He needs to learn how to communicate his thoughts nicely. And then Hyde is a blunt dude. <laughs> he doesn't understand. And then we were talking with this dude who's a spaceman. Who, um... Basically, this spaceman wants to breed. He wants to breed. He needs to find a female to breed. May not look like it, but he's a very kind person, you know. He doesn't show it, that's for sure. He's a kind person, Freya. You just don't understand Hyde. I'm already liking Hyde. Is that applies to you as well. Oh, come on. Oh, who's coming? Bailey! He's an elf. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Billies. Hey, ya. Uh, how you doing, Freya? Not good. What's going on? I like was just criticizing my story. It's called feedback. It's cool. Bailey over here has a succubus girlfriend 
where he got an argument with because he wants to leave his family to marry her. And she doesn't want to leave her family to marry him. And Hyde basically gave her a true reality about it, you know? It's necessary. Sounds interesting. What's the problem with the story? Stories are non-linear. Quite complicated. Imagine a choose your own adventure storybook, but for adults. Sounds pretty common. So far. But instead of letting telling you which page to turn into, each decision you make will give you a score. What? The score will determine which place you should go to. This one's more like a video game than a book. And no, it's not the original. But my target here is the mainstream audience. Gala, do you have to go? Huh? To help my publisher? Kind of book might go mainstream, just like the Choose Your Own Adventure show on Netstream. It's nothing new, but because of the marketing and the names evolved, it reached the mainstream market. That sounds interesting and highly ambitious, Miss Freya. At least it's simpler than my other idea. Gal over here is just enjoying himself. Which is making the novel making the novel not in the form of a book, but in the form of story cards. What? No, right? As if she has all the time in the world, and that's before even considering the sensitive issue of setting the story in a world where only humans exist. What did you say? Now, no, there's a reason why. And then Frey over here was talking about how racism is an only human world when there's creatures everywhere here and there's racism. They're like, and then Mr. Hyde, the vampire, was like, there's no way. Humans can be racist to each other. <laughs> no, this reason has to be the way. Just wait until I finish it, okay? Alright, alright. As Alex said, though, I won't have the time. Getting a normal pitch approved is already a steep climb. Let's not make the mountain even higher. Fair enough. What's the story all about, by the way? You'll have to wait for it. Don't want to spoil the fun. If you say so. That way I haven't ordered anything. What do you want to drink tonight? Ginger latte if you know how to make it. Coffee, ginger, milk. Coffee, ginger, milk. Thank you. I remember that's what you ordered last time. Great. Let's split. Serve it. Thanks. Damn, this is so good. With this kind of drink making skill, wonder why your place isn't any bigger. What we have here is now more than enough for me. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Motherfucker is rich, that's why. Apparently, we're rich, by the way. By the way, how are you doing, Bailey? Still busy with your last client? Well, I'm done with her. Done. I see you're dropping the project. I think he's. Damn, I'm not cr that crazy. I think he means he's done, done. Like, he's done completing it. Still need the money. Done as if I finished the job. Spent the past two days making sure. It's even done before the deadline. Does she like it? Oh, she loved it. She has some complaints, of course, but I convinced her. By using some of the sign terms, she doesn't understand. So you finish the job by bullshitting her? Damn. <laughs> Finest bullshit, my lady. That's one survival skill every freelancer must have. Are you working on anything right now? No. Taking a break from work. To work on a few personal matters. Oh. Yeah, we can kind of guess what your girlfriend. My dude, Lua. Like, you and Lua? Something like that. By the way, I'm curious. How do you guys meet? If you don't mind me asking. Don't mind. It's just that I was young and stupid, you know? What do you mean you were young and stupid? This is, oh, I've, this is Hyde. Hyde is a supermodel. Myrtle is this chick, an orc. Rachel is this cat girl who's famous. Aqua is this girl who you met. Henry is Rachel's dad. So Henry, you're a creep more. Bailey is this dude. Pumpkin Spice fan. Damn, Bailey, I thought I liked you. Gala is better than now working in the hospital. Metal Maiden. Full Metal Jarhead. 
He's a metalhead. Carla Vec married you win. Lua is this chick that's his girlfriend. She's a succubus. And Freya's this chick. It was just that I was young, stupid, you know. Oh, come on. Who hasn't been there? Honestly, who hasn't been there? We are young and stupid in life. Especially when it comes to love. Let's drink to that. Not actually drink. I'm drinking Powerade. So, I was a bit of a player back in college. Damn. Ooh, spicy. I was going after my then best friend's girlfriend's friend. You were going for your best friend's girlfriend's friend. Okay. Wait, what? I know, that sounded confusing to me too, Freya. Okay, I'll say slowly. I used to have a best friend. He was an incubus. Okay. Let's call him Cognac. Cognac has a girlfriend. Still falling. And he, his girlfriend has a friend that he went after. Basically, that's what he's saying, Freya. Are you that slow? And that girl has a friend. The friend is the one I'm after. Ooh, okay. Got it. She was one of the hottest girls there, but everyone knew she wasn't the type of girl you want to date. Why? It's... I don't want to get into the... But the succubus was super... Is that legal? And all the guys wanted to sleep with her. She's a succubus. Aren't all of them hot? That's what they're meant for. I mean, not what they're meant for, but what technically they are supposed to be, you know? They're supposed to be hot. If Obey Me has told me anything. She was a player too. Huh? That doesn't sound like Lua at all. Because it wasn't Lua, Genus. Huh? Lua was my friend's girl. Holy moly! So my dude, that's the reason why he said then his that best friend. Because he practically got his best friend's girlfriend. It's getting spicy here. We're getting into the drama. Why, his, why he's no longer friends with the best friend? Damn, we're getting some tea in here. Let's just call her Rose. Continue. New Lua thanks to her relationship with Konak. That's a fake name you made up, right? Yes. Now will you let me continue without the interruptions? Okay, okay. So I asked Lua a lot of things about Rose. She knew what I was after. Knowed her so much, but I kept bothering her. I mean, I was pretty active guy back then. So Lua came over to visit us at one point. I lived with Konak back in college. It had been out and I got back just as Lua arrived. Total coincidence. When I went to her to our place together and when it's something surprising. What? Cognac was sleeping with Okay, never mind. I understand why he's best friend now. Damn, this thing gets spicier and spicier. Holy mother molly. Well, look on Lua's face. The disbelief, anger, and sadness. Without even thinking about it, I punched Cognac in the face. Thank you, sir. Gotta applaud for that. You get a clap for that. You what? Got in a fight with him. Oh, and I haven't told you. Oh shit, my computer's about to die. Give me one second. I'm running to the charger. It's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu for kids? I realized my screen was getting darker. I'm like, oh wait, it only does that when the freaking thing is about to freaking die. It's pretty good. Oh my. Yeah, and I landed that yeah, I landed that one punch and he beat me to a pulp easily. Lua begged me to stop fighting on her behalf. More like she begged Kogna. <laughs> I wasn't kidding, I lost, but I don't give up so easily. I was beating pretty bad, eh? So Lua took care of my injuries. We grew closer and after that, I don't remember the exact date. But suddenly that friendship turned into a relationship. That was one hell of a story. I know. I am over here Gallus smiling his ass off over here in the background. Have you seen her by any chance? Uh, yeah. Lua came by a few days ago. Yes! She came by when Hyde was here. How is she doing? She hasn't returned any of my calls or texts. 
Well, she's healthy, that's for sure. Them to an argument, though. With whom? It was this male model. A model? I didn't think she was the type of girl to go out with a model. Oh, they weren't together. What were they arguing about? Well, they were talking about your relationship. Lua told us about the recent behind the fight. About your family stuff. And then this guy, hi, joined the dis discussion. What did he say? He didn't understand why Leo insists on getting family approval. Considering, you know, what? You're willing to leave your own family. You would do that for her? Yeah, I would. I'm sick and tired of my family. Why would you say that? Tell you about my family. Or I should say most elven families. How they're racist. That's what he was saying. That they were racist. Like, I'm not, I'm just pointing it out. You're making it obvious. They all think they're so high and mighty. If you're born an elf, there are certain unwritten rules you must follow. Reputation and appearance are everything. You must never, ever make the family look bad. You can only befriend certain people. By the way, I'm still craving waffles. I should make some more. Like, I've been craving waffles for some time now. Only befriend certain people. You must dress a certain way. You can only have certain jobs. Jobs are deemed worthy and successful. You know, like, so is he like an Asian? That was racist. That was racist. <laughs> That's why I need a filter on this mouth. Just spoop, lock it. Poop and lock it. I was racist. That's what I just said too. Oh god, I was fucked up. You know, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be an artist. I love drawing and creative art. However, becoming an artist is not something else of the intuitable. Unless you become the next Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Da Vinci. Fuck, I fucked up Da Vinci, whatever. So when I switched from a business mayor to an art mayor, my parents went crazy, screamed like they were on fire. Told me that I've never, I'll never be rich or successful. Now, Gala seems sad. All that because you chose an art degree? You want to know the worst part? They blame Lua. What do you mean? They blame her for my decision to pursue passion for art. The old of our kind is ruining the country. Gal over here looks sad. Accusing the religion of worshipping the Dark Lord. Accusing her of putting a spell on me and cursing the family. Well, I mean, come on, this is the 21st century. That's not so not cool. I thought we were in 2020. Could have said this game was in 2020, not the 21st century. Excuse me. Want some judgmental, but your family is racist. Thank you. Somebody else said it. Somebody else said it. Tell me about it. Lou is the only person that can make me feel alive. <laughs> In what way can she make you feel alive by sucking that what? This is a mature stream. Reminder, this is a mature stream. <laughs> she showed me I can be free and pursue my dreams. I don't understand why Lou is so obsessed with the idea of reconciliation with my family. I just don't get- I mean, her family seems like they're okay with it. They're just scared for her. That's what they're scared. Is it raining? Yo, is it raining? Let me check the weather app. Is it raining? I'm not in fucking rap- I'm not in Jacksonville. Why do I have Jackson- Oh, I know why. Um, it's not raining, but why the hell do I hear, like, stuff hitting the roof? Must be my imagination. I must be hallucinating at this point. Yee. I just don't get it. I have no problem leaving my family, you know? We'll happily leave them for both of us. What about her? What about her and her family? You may be happy to leave your family. However, it may not be the same for her. Hi. Gala, do you have something to say? I see you can give us a different perspective. Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I couldn't help but be hearing your story. It seemed that the person you talked about is not an elf, correct? Yeah, she's a succubus. Oh, I see. Well, werewolf, for werewolves, the wolf pack is the most important thing. 
put family before any other. That is so true. We often have our own problems within the pack, but we won't abandon our family for anything. Perhaps that's also true for her and her family. Besides, if you leave your family for her, wouldn't that make your parents believe that all those bad stereotypes of our succubi are true? I never thought of it that way before. But do you like it or not, your actions will have impacts on her as well. And if you leave your family for her, that will put her in a difficult spot. She might re feel responsible for your actions. That's something to feel bad about. I'm leaving my messy family to create a better one with her. It's easy for you to say that now. So you, but you don't know what the future holds. One day circumstances might change. One day one of you might regret your decisions. One day you might use the I left my family for you card. Damn, this game got serious out of a sudden. We were going, we, we went from joking around to like, damn. Yeah, they might guess like you. We love each other. I'll be with her whenever, whatever. You know, love is like a flame. It might burn fiercely at first. I mean, 10 years. They've been together for 10 years, by the way. But over time, it will die down if you don't maintain it. Yeah, that's why you throw the gas light on it, and it goes crazy. Maintaining it won't be easy. It will be hard work, because life, life is full of storms. And marriage, it will not survive on love alone. Whoa. That's steep, but it really is. We will have each other, and that's enough for us. Tell me, do you have any health insurance? What? I'm an elf. Why would I need health insurance? You don't need some. What for? Immortality is an elven privilege. But you'll lose it if your family disowns you. I've seen people go bankrupt because they fall ill or go seriously injured. Empty their entire life savings for an $8 pill because in the country they charge... They charge to twenty thousand dollars for it. Damn, this game keeps getting serious. And if you decide to have children, they won't have the same privilege you do. There's a high probability that they'll get bullied for being a half breed. There are consequences. It shouldn't be taken lightly. Think about it. Anyway, I've gotta go. Apologize for my intrusion. No, thank you for your insight. I've gotta go too. Want to hear it out together? Sure. Thanks for the drink, Alec and Freya. Bye. That got deep. So last time that conversation with his girlfriend did not go well. He, her and Hyde had a deep combo. But you made me lose two customers in a minute. Hey, that wasn't on me. They were leaving anyway. Are you going to write that in your book? It's a secret. And if your book is based on this coffee shop, how can you present a story like theirs in a world where only humans frown? Not sure. That's a hard drink. Interracial relationship. I get what she's going to do. She's going to pull an inter interracial relationship thing. But no, also the werewolf guy said he's more of a vanilla person. He admitted that to us. He's more vanilla, he said. Sounds like a great idea. Warm booster made of susu, tele, madu, and yahi from Indonesia. He's vanilla, so unfortunately he's not into that, he said. He said that's too hard for them. When they're in the fury stage. Who vows to stop major hospitals sending future fury sedative illegally? Coachella 2020. 10 reasons why you should go. Sport tournament in space might be only a few decades away. Oh, hide in Gala. You really never change. I know, but it was surprisingly nice catching up with people from back then. Hide and Gala. This is Hyde. This is Gala. Sorry, they look gay for each other, but they're not. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. Hey, Alec. I like to order again. The usual. Back to the experiment? Yes. I think the last one was the remedy. There's no harm checking some other combinations. Alright. You know what to do. Tea, milk, ginger. Right? Tea, milk, 
Ginger, it has to say Gala. Make sure it says Gala in my head. Wait. Trash it? Wait, I press green tea. Tea. Milk. Ginger. I'm an idiot. Huh? Oh no. I feel that pain. Damn. What, you grabbed the wrong drink? What's this? <laughs> Yo, I wish I could show you this. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I'm sorry, I just opened this message to see... This fucker just set up a whole projector. That's fucking dope. I wish I had a- Is that a fucking mic? Of course he has a mic. Why am I surprised? Let me text back, uh, Gash for a second, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Gala. It's the fact that this projector actually looks so cool. Holy shit, even with the light on. <laughs> I'm doing stalker shit. Is that the fucking fun house? Is it the fun? Oh my god, he's already done so much stuff for the fat home. That's what I needed. Thank you, Gala. Gala? I swear, I don't think I'm pronouncing his name right. What about you, Mr. Hyde? Like to order anything else? I'm good for now. Can I help over here and you both? Sounds like you two go way back. I mean, they already told you that they go way back. We do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Oh, did you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. Happened exactly. He's getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. Damn, my dude was being called out. Ugh, those two bastards. Wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? Just because I'm a vampire doesn't mean I know kung fu. Besides, I've had a couple of drinks. I could have taken both if, if I was sober. A couple, really? You were trash, Hyde. Damn, he, he says, he's like, don't lie. You were fucking wasted, man. You told him I was your bodyguard. Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Not at the time. We didn't even know each other. But because of the whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then wasted, and then this wasted vampire stuck to me. Like, well, you know, to a blanket. Obviously, he was too drunk to drive, so I had hailed a cab. Turns out he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. And I was stuck with him until the morning. Damn, he's like, I got stuck with this dude. He's like, basically, he needs a shirt saying, uh, I got stuck with this dude. I got too wasted, and this dude took me to his house. Thanks for not leaving me on the street. Those swords could have killed me. Who were they? I'm not gonna confirm or deny anything. God damn, dude. We, you, you don't fuck with the mafia. No matter where you are, you don't fuck with the mafia. They have lost some of their money on their stock market. A lot of their money. Yikes. They wanted me to launder their darn money, so I decided to screw them over and said, Yeah, I ever heard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent. That's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. What a stroke of luck the universe sent me a garden. Angel in my time of need. 
So the next morning, I pretty much was my body got for you. After all the trouble it cost me the night before, hey, I took you for breakfast. Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, was it my proudest moment? You know, I, I don't know how they can remember all this stuff, which is from... So this is 2020, right? And it's... And they met in 1960. So all of this is from their range because they live long, these creatures. It was broke. Bref breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. The late 60s, mind you, see? 1960s and it's 2020. Where was? War veterans. Ah, oh, I see. That way you have so many scars. So how did you go from working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital, Gallo? Well, when he was working me, I noticed Hyde. I've heard we skipped that part. I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into details about it. It's alright. Forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you a quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with something I should say. Something from my past. Were you addicted to drugs? I'm sorry. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or a doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So you could say I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence and helping me when I needed it. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't expect such a tell from you. I know. Anyway, Alec, I'd like to order something now. But we like, I can make a tea based drink that's warm and cool at the same time. So we're going with tea. Lemon is cool. Look with that one. Da -da 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 -da. I love this animation for the Midsummer's Night Dream. Oh, I love that decoration. You should order. Exactly what I wanted. Oh, wait, wait. It feels like this place is missing something today. Yeah, I haven't seen her today. Speak of the devil. Yes, yeah, speak of the devil. Hello, good people. Hi, Freya. And one vampire. <laughs> it's good to see you too, Freya. By the way, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I'm just surprised you weren't here. Is that how you pick up young girls young enough to be your granddaughter? Don't work on me. Huh. I have no interest in flirting with you. You've got high standards. You know, oh, damn! The fucker said he has high standards. You, you look so tired, Freya. Hard day at work. By the way, Freya was getting this last time by this girl, and it was funny. Ah, how can you tell? Call it werewolf senses, sense, senses. Blah, blah, blah. Right. I showed Alec my draft, and I actually got some good feedback. Yeah, I kept commenting on it. Sorry, this guy's being in this. Actually, got some good feedback. That's good to hear. I'm glad I could help. The slurping in this fucking game. The whole day rewriting stuff and also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a good day. That's good to hear. But please don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Will do, sir. Speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital? Amnine, life going. Not even a word, Freya. Actually, I'm not even sure what you even do there. Hmm, it's pretty boring to talk about. 
So mostly I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital, things like how much a specialist costs, how much it affects our income, and also deal with pensions, patient and the family. I swear I can speak. I go through what we do and how much it will cost them. Kind of like the biz dev for people's lives then. You could say that. What the hell is biz dev? This one's complicated and hard. That's why I'm suited for my job. Because someone gets very emotional attached to patients will find this job pretty tough. Where heartless people like my friend here. See, Hyde is not hard. Hyde is basically me. I'm too blunt sometimes. I only see it from a business perspective. Good point. Why do people... Ever why do people rarely talk about your kind of job? I guess most people really know this, but he sticks and think of the necessities of it. Exactly, it's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why? For me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's personal loss. Anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. You should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady right here. You used to be less bit less loyal though. Hide. Been doing this job for a while. Almost fifty years now. Whoa, I didn't know that. Wait. Fifty years in the same position? Uh huh. Oh, they asked for promotion, man. They keep offering me new positions, mostly managerial. Take it. Not interested, damn. Why? That's well, something I want. He said, I don't want that management position. Besides, as I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. But the salary was better if you take a promotion, right? Of course. But what I get more right now is more enough for me right more. I still get races while I'm doing the job. Really can't figure you out. That's gala for you. Anyway, my shift's starting soon. It was nice catching up with both of you. Are you going to stay high? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. See you in a few weeks, I guess. Yep. Safe trip. See you around, Alec. And you, Freya. See you. Take care on your way. Take care on your merry way. You know, it's kind of hard to believe someone like Gala could be your best friend. Freya, stop being now. You're always talking about how Hyde is rude. You're not being rude. We were just talking about that before you just arrived. Really? Hey, I'm missing an interesting story, so how did you guys meet? Seriously, you have to retell the story? Yes. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? Alright then. We met in this place back when it was a bar. Blah, 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 blah. They got in a bar fight. He took them to breakfast. And their new gala used to be in the army. I mean, he's got built to be on the front line still, though. Why did he make the jump from, how should I say this, very physical job to medic? Well, he's not comfortable about it right now. You know why, right? Hide. It's a story for me. Obviously, he doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Seriously, Freya, come on. Freya, stop! But, going to war. Messes with your head. Oh, do you see why? God, I just want to talk about it. I don't get it. I think he was confident and was his strength. So, you only did work there relied on his muscle. Help him get over his trauma, though? Of course not. But it was the only thing he could do. Or at least, it's the only thing he thought he could do. But you hire him for his muscle? Hey, I didn't know of all that at the same time. But he's good at being a bodyguard. And we weren't that close yet. So, no personal feelings. And he needs his strength. And I got to be interested in him. Interested? I think he's a cool person. That's all. After a few months, I noticed his problem. I suggest he talk about it with someone. But she refused. No surprises there. But I kind of pushed him to do it. How? Complicated. 
especially he did get personal help. Of course, I have no idea what happened in therapy sessions. At the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He quit working for me. Not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. He's been work... Oh, God. Hi. Hey, meet Spaceman. He's the one I was talking about how he wants to find somebody to breed. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Spaceman. Oh, boy. Good evening. Nice to see you again. We're also glad to see you, Barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name last time. Name? Name? We sure have. Nur, please call us Neil. Neil, that's your name. Oh my god. Neil Hamstrung, you get it? Neil, yes. Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication, we do not really need trivial things like names to interact. But from what we have learned here, it seems like the name Neil has a lot of associations with Earthling's efforts and intergalactic exploration. I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So, hello, my name is Freya. You say I'm a regular here. And you, sir? Hide. You come here often? From someone? Well, for someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Ooh, you're not from around here. Neither are we. Where you come from? Far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more. More. Much more to the point that your strange calculation system means nothing. Sounds far away, indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? Do you are all your kind dressed like this? Oh, this? We chose this to print based on the image we saw. When we first arrived, image... Ah, the arm, the army Jandrew album. No wonder you look familiar. We were doing this really perfect spot to practice our communication skills for Earthlings. For that, please let us order something from the barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That's how you say it? yes? Yes. So, anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. You really can't taste anything? Yes. What if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise, but we thought you'd be able to do that. Challenge has been. Mint! Please let me use... I don't think it would be a coffee. You're a tea person. Oh. We're going sweetness. Oh, not ginger. I meant mint. You see, this will happen. Milk? Honey and mint. We're going with that. Milky Way. Perfect for ham, honestly. Oh, my back is hurting. See, I hope I got this right. Oh, shoot. I hope I didn't end stream. I pressed one of my... Thank you. What the... Interesting. Where you ask? Yes, that's how they drink. This. Why is this thing turning red? What the fuck is happening? What is this? We have never been able to taste anything in our life. But this. This. This is a breakthrough. It's mint. Why wouldn't you be able to taste mint? Report us immediately. Then, too much from all of our kind. You are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes? Normally, yes. But you can't be sure with Freya. That definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us? We are travelers. Doing our job in the space you call Milky Way. Kind of job. We are tasked with our mission to spread our seeds. Oh, I told you I hate this. He really means he really need means he needs to spread his seed. Oh my god. <sighs> Neo, I like you, buddy. But you are so blunt. You're really here to find a date. All the way from the galaxy far away. Wow. Turns out Perth exists everywhere in the universe. <laughs> Saying a psycho man. Not really. You have a valid point. Now I understand. We're glad we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. Oh, that's why I hate it. They're making fun of him, but he doesn't understand why. He's so adorable. I don't know why I find him adorable. I don't like it when they make fun of him. May I ask, why do you have to breathe with us? Mm, we're sorry, but that is classified information. Oh man. 
But really, it's alright to share it with you tonight. Thanks to the Zypo and Jinx and Vista. I owe you this story. Everyone, including us, you and everyone else, tasked to keep the balance of the universe, but sometimes it has hard for some civilizations to maintain balance by themselves because unknown threats that are beyond each civilization powers can appear, and that is where we come in. Um, I still don't see the relation between that and pregnancy. Quite dense, aren't you? Hey! Came here to give seeds so a happy of your kind can be born on Earth. That is correct. A happy will be half early and half whatever you are, yes. Given that you have some powers that we can't comprehend, you are trying to make sure Earth will have its own protector. That is 100% correct. Holy shit! You're trying to give us a superhero? Yes, that is what you people call a protector. Why go through all the hassle? Sounds like a lot of work. Why not just explain to someone? Sure, a lot of women wouldn't mind giving birth to a superhero. Sadly, it's not that simple. The future protector has to be someone that loves this planet more than they have to be born out of love, which we, we have learned. Very complicated feeling on Earth. It'd make it easier. We have it easier back home due to the nature of our communication and we understand everyone deeply by default. So everyone on our planet loves each other by the time they're born. That sounds beautiful. And creepy. Why? Sounds like planet is a giant spherical or <laughs> Why do we I tell you this is a mature stream? This is a mature stream. Oh my god. Load up text. I love you, Freya, but this is a mature stream. I'm going to keep yelling that. That was badly chosen word. It is roughly similar to the truth. You're joking. Oh my god, Neil. Neil! Hyde is having the best time of his life here. What you say is true. Should we help them get to get laid with them? And it's all we need. Otherwise, my response for a birth to a super evil person instead. Well, uh, how's the mission going so far? Can I say it is going well? Not surprised by how quirky and unique you are. Nobody one can handle that. Could you handle them though? Me? I don't know. What do you think? They're pretty adventurous, girl. Damn, he's saying that she looks like she's adventurous. Goddamn, Frey, I think just got called out. I'm really surprised we decided to go on a date. Or maybe go for it if it's got you a good story. Oh, you're not offended by that? Not in the slightest. You're wrong, though. Like, go on a date with them. I don't, but I don't like sleep around. Really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. Honestly, Freya doesn't look like the girl who sleeps a lot. But you don't look like it. You look like you're just... Don't. Excuse me, miss. We got her. Does it mean you're willing to be with us in Shane's for our stories? No, I have no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner. Chance for stories, but only see what someone I'm serious about. Mission is serious. It's not that you either have to be my boyfriend or husband or you want to sleep with me. Heard of those terms before. Let's check them once again. Mm, this is very strange. According to what we found, many, many earthlings mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives. Yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept, he says. It is not a strange concept. Some then there's poly relationships. Then why is with such rules do you still face over population problems? Damn, he's calling out this whole population.
Hmm. Now that you mention it, we do not have enough control of ourselves. And those in charge also don't have enough control of us. This game gets serious out of a sudden from... Not to mention some races live for a very long time. So even though there are rules about having kids and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. You know, Earthling, we know Earthlings boost about the concept of free will. We thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint taking care of the planet. At least that's what we got her from the information network. Theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. The easiest way to put it. We learned so much today. We have another question from Miss Freya. Asway, how can we become your husband? <laughs> First of all, I will suggest going step by step. Most of the time, you start by dating boyfriends and girlfriends, you know? Before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend, he says. <laughs> Neo, I love you, my boy. He's such a golden retriever. You could start by asking her whether she's actually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya. Are you single? Yes, I am single. You want to be your girlfriend? Now, cats aren't date varies between people. It usually takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Poor Neil. The brain process is surely extremely complicated. Be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others. I love Spaceman. Be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids still in a totally different league. Most women prefer if their male partners wear condoms. Condoms. It's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have an offspring? Because spaceman. Sometimes women just enjoy the feeling of having a big, small thingy in them. Or average. This game, this game, I love it so much, but it makes me question myself. Pleasure, yep, what Hyde said, pleasure. All this information is too much to process in one evening, so we talked about using condoms, but how do you kind of have sex? Like, seeing how you drink. Mm, that's true. How do you do it? God, are we learning how they make babies? We are pretty flexible with that, but we cannot tell you the details unless we agree to do maiden ritual. I don't want to imagine how it's done. <laughs> he said he was pretty flexible. Oh, you do not need to worry. We would not hurt anyone mentally. You won't probe them. actually the mental part. We did our research and we tried it on testing objects we made. It was proven. The mental capacity of the earthlings far more complete than anything else in there. I've finally spoken. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway, thank you very much for impressing you've given us. It means a lot for our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How we proceed with your mission we are not sure yet. It's yet to be discussed, after all. Really nice talking about- I don't want to end this! I want to talk more with Neo! I wish we could pick what characters we pick. They come in. Oh, I want to speak to him again. We are off now. But at least a few days he's going to come back. Apparently I met every new character there is. Bye! Take care on your way, sir. Something indeed. So the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. Then they mistook Miss Myrtle for their date. They gained all over for her arc. Wow, dread thing how that went. Pretty awkward. You really can't be angry at such na naive from Spaceman. 
I guess so. By the way, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? You mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend that come few days. You mean he came yesterday? Right? He came yesterday, right? Bailey came yesterday. But it was being pretty nosy to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble, Freya. Sadly, you have to agree with that. It's not easy to make Gala join random conversation that already picks his interest. Or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. I need to catch a flight to Seattle tomorrow, so I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. Back here sooner than you know. Oh, well. I'll be peaceful week then. So that you have to agree with that. It's nice to make Gala's repeats. Oh, I'm reading. Heh. Anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ruining anything. Mm, I didn't even notice that. I really don't care about this business. She didn't know anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Wait, anyway, Freya, do you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. All right, then. See you around. Take care on your way. Yo, Mr. High was trying to hit that. I'm joking. He wasn't. He said before. Spicy, sweet, natural bliss in a cup. Okay, sugar and spice. So, honey, cinnamon, and coffee. Coffee, cinnamon, and that. So, I am going to end this here because that is done. I am done for the day, hoodie. I'll play tomorrow. I might play early in the morning if I don't, if, cause I still have food. So I'll probably just eat and then come and stream if I can. But I'll just stream this game cause I freaking adore this game if I don't get caught early for work. Thank you for being here with me. By the way. Love you. Bye-bye.